Hi everyone, today I will be showing off the new NVIDIA FreeSync compatible drivers. Let's get into the NVIDIA control panel. I have a, a dual setup monitor. Currently I have connected an uh, Dell S2719 DGF. It's a uh, 1440p, 144 Hz, overclockable to 100, uh, 115. I will show you the resolution. As you can see, the D DGF it's 144p and the refresh rate is 144 and the G LG 27GK 750F it's a 240Hz display at 100, 1, uh, 1080p as you can see they both are uh, already showing up as G-Sync enabled. They are both connected to the via display port. They work flawless, no color shift or whatsoever. I had to enable uh, the for window head and full screen because it's the best experience with the dual setup screens you must uh, you must use uh, a window with application like games if you want to show off the uh, if you want to switch uh, easily between uh, tabs and monitors okay but for enabling uh, the G-Sync, I uh, first got into the menu. Here are the stats of my current preset. As you can see, it's not overclockable. The time response is set to normal and the preset mode is standard. This is the Dell monitor. I set it to normal because uh, the color reproduction and uh, contrast suits me well. And for the uh, G-Sync compatibility, you must enable FreeSync. As you can see, it's enabled to on. Let me show you what happens if I switch it to off. Of course, the display goes black. The second display goes black. The driver reloads the screens. And uh, in a short while, it must disappear as a G-Sync compatible display. As you can see, my Dell suddenly became uh, non-G-Sync compatible, so no FreeSync compatibility. Okay, next, let me enable it back. So this is the first thing you need to do to enable FreeSync. So the G-Sync compatibility should work. Okay. It doesn't display as a, a G-Sync because I did not refresh the tab so i will switch between the menus and it appears as uh, g-sync next to the lg i don't know where the menu will appear okay so go to the little knob as you can see the response time is set to normal. 
black stabilizer is set to zero, one millisecond motion blur reduction is set to off, uh, free sync is on, and the uh, frequency is 240 hertz. You go to the game adjust, go to the free sync tab, click on it, and you enable on. If I switch it to off, okay. So the LG is switched to off, and the it also appeared here in the driver in the Nvidia control panel. Now I will be disabling the free sync on uh, Dell. And you will see that uh, the G-Sync tab will disappear uh, entirely from this menu. So no more G-Sync for either of the monitors. I'll be enabling them back. It still didn't appear. Okay, the the G Sync has also appeared. Don't forget the G Sync works only with Display Port, so no HDMI. So if your monitor doesn't have an HDMI on Display Port, you cannot enable this feature via HDMI because the mon the uh, Graphic cards does not support it. Only with uh, via Display Port. As you can see, they work as intended. As an actual footage of the game. I will must run, I think Overwatch will be the better option. Okay. I will be playing on my Dell. will be showing this side of the screen and also the so MSI Afterburner doesn't it's not loaded let's load it so running the MSI Afterburner crashed I think the NVIDIA display driver I'll be resuming when... okay I know why it didn't work because our room was running World of Tanks in background and that's why So I am uh, running with G-Sync enabled, I will be running it, I will be running Overwatch. Here on the top left is the MSI Afterburner details, I've limited The frame cap to 144. The resolution is 1440p at 144 hertz. 
and the graphics qualities on Epic. Let's get to the practice range. I'll be picking solder. It's too bad that the camera picks up only at 60 hertz and it looks like there appears some kind of tearing in the monitor. And there is some tearing, but not the kind of tearing like on uh, without free, free sync activated. Now let's disable the FreeSync, the G-Sync compatibility from the driver. So as you can see, at the middle of the monitor, it appears very, very jagged. like the image bends and the tearing appears all over the monitor as you can see in the middle for example the tearing is pretty bad especially if I switch fast Okay, let's enable the G-Sync. Okay. Let's switch the monitors. I'm selecting monitor 2. 1080p at 240Hz. Okay. Let's do some tweaking. Make sure the keyboard is not in a very comfortable place right now. And the Frame cap, let's set to 240. Let's set display base. On LG, the tearing is even more limited compared to the dead monitor. 
the bad thing is that is that I don't have a G-Sync monitor and I don't have a comparison to make to. and uh, the camera cannot reproduce only 60 hertz because it's limited to overall I'm pretty pleased with Nvidia's new update new update because it helps with tearing the motion seems more natural except the fact that I'm recording at a slower pace okay so here and there are some minor tearing but not as bad as without FreeSync activated and G-Sync control panel. So, thank you for watching. Like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and have a nice day.